Hey guys, if your BMW is showing a tire pressure warning when you get in the car or during uh, driving, a common cause is that, especially during the fall period when it gets cooler, your tire pressures will get uh, smaller when the temperature is going lower. So that might cause a notification, especially on cooler mornings. So you should go ahead and check your tire pressures. On the iDrive system under vehicle status, you can access the tire pressure monitor. So this will actually indicate your current tire pressures for all of the four wheels. And it will also show you the recommended uh, front tire pressure and the recommended rear tire pressure. So for example, in my case, the tire pressure pressure had dropped because the temperature is quite a bit cooler. It's uh, September now in Finland, Finland and some mornings are like um, 20 degrees cooler than the daytime. Regarding the tire pressure, you can also check the tire settings. So if you have uh, summer tires and these are R18 tires, so the load status, uh, this is now partially loaded with echo, which we were looking at previously. If you go to comfort and save that setting, you will see that the tire pressures, which are recommended, are quite a bit different than the ones which were for the eco driving. So I, I prefer the eco setting because that's uh, closer to economic driving and also kind of a rule of thumb for R18 tires would be to go with a tire pressure I would say around 2.7 to 2.8 bars so I usually go with the same pressure on all the wheels it seems that BMW recommends a bit higher on the rear but I usually like to go with the tire sh shop's recommendation because actually the tire pressure which the tire is intended to be driven with I think is more important than what the um, vehicle recommends but anyhow if your tire pressure has dropped you can see it here then you should uh, check it on each wheel and add pressure to get your uh, desired pressure and save your settings afterwards and that should get you uh, rid of that uh, warning so if, if this was helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments uh, did this video help you solve your issue. Thanks for watching.